Many of you wanted the recipe of the homemade ice cream. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna add about two cups of milk to a saucepan. This is called a saucepan, I think. Okay guys, then you're gonna add about a cup of sugar. Look how exact that is, look at that. So you're gonna add that to your milk. We have it on low heat. I'm gonna put it up to about medium heat. Um, so sugar is in, you know, I'm gonna add a ooh, dash more. Okay, then you're gonna add about a quarter teaspoon of salt. Um, I don't have a quarter teaspoon or I don't know where it's at. So we're gonna add, we're just gonna guesstimate. Boop, boop, okay, that'll work. Um, and then vanilla. So you're gonna do, um, uh, ooh, about a teaspoon and a half of vanilla. And all we're gonna do here is just, we're just warming, warming this mixture up. Not boiling it, just kind of dissolving the sugar. That's it, that's all we're doing. This is having some issues opening. I'm doing a video and it's putting me right on the spot. Oh my goodness gracious. I might need Mr. Shandy Pants to help me with this. Oh my gosh. I'll be right back. Fun fact, you can use um, shelf liner, groupie shelf liner to help you get the top of cans open, or jars, except when it's just too hard and it doesn't work. Oh. Okay, dissolving our sugar, do not burn the milk. I've heard that does not taste yummy. Mix, mix, mix. Okay, thankfully he's good for something. <laughs> so he opened my vanilla for me, and we're gonna do about, what did I say, a teaspoon and a half, I think? So, I like vanilla, I'm gonna do two. Are those teaspoons? Yes, teaspoons. A kitchen cooking hack is um, vanilla, real vanilla is pretty expensive. So I always have my own going. You buy vanilla beans one time, and then you just add your choice of alcohol to them, and um, they make this delicious, delicious vanilla. So like this one's been sitting longer, See how dark it is? Delicious. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna add two eggs. Mmm. Okay guys, so my family has chosen to do mint Oreo ice cream this time around. So I'm going to be crushing this whole pack of mint Oreos. You guys know me always, safety first, so safety goggles are on. And my weapon of choice um, for this particular step of the recipe is a rubber mallet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, while they're in the package here, I'm just going to smash them all. I did refrigerate them. So they're not like real melty or anything. Oh! Is there some extra pins up? Long, you know, that's my I don't know. Okay, people, so what we're gonna do, I had this chilled in the fridge, we're gonna add the milk, sugar, egg mixture right on into our ice cream maker. We have a six quart. Boom, donezo. Then we're going to add about four cups of heavy whipping cream. You wanna be really careful with your measuring and make sure you do about four cups. And then after we have our whipping cream in, we're going to top it off with milk. You got about half of this in there. And then we're gonna let it turn for about 20 minutes and we'll add the rest. Order an order of Kiki fries to help you get through finishing the ice cream. Whoa. That looks amazing. You see our chunks of cookie there? Grab a spoon. You can put all your leftover ice cream and freeze it in the freezer. Yum yum.
Mm, so good. Mm. If you guys have not had homemade ice cream, go make some this week. And if you make it, tell me what your favorite flavor is. I think coffee toffee is my favorite, but this is a very close second. Mint Oreo.